Hello and welcome to another episode of Regal's Rundown. My name is Derek and I'm here with head women's soccer coach Joe Alianello. How Thanks are we doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Well, you concluded your final game of the 2015 preseason. What do you think you learned from your team? Um, there's some really good signs we've seen. Uh, you know, I, I like where we are defensively. You know, I think we need to clean up our attack a little bit still. Um, but I think we're ahead of the schedule in a lot of ways than we were last year. We're fitter. Um, we probably have a, a clearer sense of some roles on the team in terms of where people are playing. It's just that, you know, this preseason being so short now in Division mm -hmm. Two, we don't have all the answers yet of how we're going to score a lot of goals yet. So um, there's some answers still and we'll kind of find out where we are tonight and kind of go from there. Okay, well, you start conference play today against Bemidji State University. Mm -hmm. What kind of things are you expecting to see from your team early in this tough conference play? It's going to be a tough game. Um, Bemidji's got one of the best front three in the conference probably. And um, so we've been preaching a lot of, of being patient with our defending tonight, um, being tough on set pieces, and taking our chances when we can. You know, we played in the University of Manitoba last week, and they're, they're, they're very similar. And, you know, we didn't get a ton of chances, but the ones we did had to be scored. We would have won the game. So for us, it's just being the team that we can be in terms of defending, um, taking advantage of the opportunities that we will create, cause we will create some tonight, and, and being resilient. Okay. And this is now your fourth season yeah. here as head women's soccer coach. What type of growth have you seen from your team from the first day you stepped on campus to where you are now? Yeah, well, the first year was tough because we only had 15 kids. Yeah. And um, the, bi the big change was the junior class now, you know, with Callie and, D and uh, Danny and Molly and Lexi and, and the rest of the junior class there. They've been, they've been a big help for us to... Uh, um, really grow the program. The fact that they've all stayed, and it's been it's been good to see. Um, you know, we're obviously getting better every year. Um, we had some turnover last year that will make some things difficult this year. But I, I've just been happy with the competitiveness. You know, we're not we're not getting blown out anymore. Mm -hmm. We're in every game for the most part. We've seen uh, us climb up the, the conference standings every every year. So it's just it's just trying to be a consistent team in the conference now, rather than being a team that does good one year, bad the next. Mm -hmm. Being a team that's always competing for a playoff spot, and you know, we'll see if it's there this year or not. But you know, I, I liked where we're at from in terms of overall competitiveness so far in the conference. Well, that's good to see. Yeah. And I heard your parents are going to be in attendance today. They are. Yeah, yeah I know your dad loves to see you with a clean haircut. That's right, clean, <laughs> clean haircut. Just shaved today for him, and uh, I'll have to behave on the sidelines because. Oh, yeah. um, I have to hear about it if not. I'm 34 and I still hear about my behavior on the sidelines. <laughs> time, time to be uh, behaved tonight, right? Yep, well, that'll be exciting yeah, to see. Absolutely. Well, myself, along with a lot of other people, are very excited to see what you and your team are going to be able to do this year. And thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having me, sir. Best of luck to yeah. you. And we'll see you guys next week on another episode of Regal's Rundown.